We're here at Milk Tavern trying the world famous ice cream burrito. It has vanilla ice cream, Fruit Loops, and cotton candy wrapped around it. Or in America, as they call it, diabetes. All right. I'm gonna lose my leg. You know how you could tell if a dessert place is really good? Uh, grass on, on the wall, just grass. Oh. A little, late, a little late here. I was getting <laughs> balloons, that's why I was late. Because H&R oh. uh, Blog is our newest sponsor. So welcome to the biggest sponsor we have, uh, the Raiders. That's yeah, we're gonna get uh, Fruity Pebbles, uh, vanilla ice cream. And cotton candy. And anything else for you guys? Uh, do you have an EpiPen? My health insurance does not cover this. It's so light. It's fluffy. <laughs> oh, I'm great. I love it. No, there's no way. It's really good. This is fine. <laughs> Dude, this is what Monsters Inc. tastes like. Like, you know that feeling when you get when you watch Monsters Inc.? That's what it is, bro. That's silly. People say the American dream is a white picket fence. It's cotton candy around ice cream. I don't care who you are, bro. Uh, yeah, dude, I uh, I really don't like sweets, man. I don't I don't even like like any anything sweet, like a little like lump of sugar. I don't even like. So this is you don't like be... sweets? No, dude. So this is a great place to start. Oh, this is gonna be yeah, this is gonna be perfect, man. Mm. You took mm. a bite out of that like it was a chopped cheese. Big old bite. Okay. It's not bad, right? <laughs> dude, the, the childhood memories come out. This is so good. It's actually amazing. I feel like I'm eating like a like a blue cloud. Like all my dreams have come true. Oh my god, the fruity pebbles, they're Dude, dancing I in my mouth. Like it, bro. Dude, they're making my soul happy. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, I went in here thinking this was gonna suck. This is the best thing I've ever had in my life. Honestly, I'll break up my girlfriend and kill my whole family for one more. I'll kill Trevor. Yeah, I'll kill her. I don't care. If I was reincarnated, I want to become one of these. This is so good. Dude, honestly. It's fire. It's fire. Look at that. I was fully expecting this to be just disgusting, and and I I, I I am shocked and appalled. I'm talking like a grandfather. I'm shocked and appalled. I'm offended that this is so good, but obesity makes so much sense now, right? Someone That's just got how good shot. it is, dude. Somebody got shot trying to buy one of these because they cut in line, dude. Somebody, someone just got gatted out. But it's so good, we're gonna keep eating it. Cause we don't care who got crap. So how much sugar was in that? 210? 210. That's like eight Dr. Cokes. I, that's not a thing. Dude, I can't even talk right now. That's shit. I'm all, it's like a virgin four loco, but just energy. It's a Red Bull and a goddamn frozen. I don't do. I'm, let's go. I feel like a Ferris wheel. Dude, I don't get it, man. I feel fine. <laughs> I'm gonna shit everywhere. Are we starting? Why? I feel like we. I always ask that question because I never starting? know. Are we starting? I never <laughs> That's know. That's actually when our we first start. merch shirt. Is are we starting? I'm cool with that. That's pretty dope. I would actually buy something like that. Are we starting? Are we starting like a hoodie that just says, are we starting? Right, because in this era, people would be like, that's political. Like, are we starting? Like, yes, take him down. We are. Are we starting this World War Three? And you're like, it's a joke on our podcast. But that, that's also, all it was. Why, yeah. why do I need to go out to CVS and get a poster board and write, are we starting? And like march around my neighborhood. Have you seen how good the marching signs are getting? Bro. It's like a competition. Honestly, I would march, but I'm not good enough with puns to make a good one. I'm also not good enough with arts and crafts. These Dude. people like majored in arts. Like now you can't be a political activist unless you Without major glitter. in creative yeah. design. You have to have at least two Tumblr accounts. And I think one Pinterest was the the, the formula. The last one I read was one Pinterest, but one I, I Pinterest? think I think they're probably going to move it up. I think they're that probably going to move it up. You have to have that. And then also like... Uh, you have to have like four macaroni pieces in your household. It's it's something weird, but um, dude, they're they're like crazy good, and they all have puns. They like all, and it's kind of weird because like, I'm not. Even, I don't even. I'm gonna be honest, dude. I don't even. I'm not like if a little like an alien said, "Hey, Michael, can you explain what a pun is?" I don't know. I know like a play on words, mm -hmm. but I'm honestly not super sure what a pun is. You know what a pun is? I know big pun. Big pun, he's a rapper. He's a rapper. Very, very good rapper. But pun, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what a pun yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. Give it to you me. You don't know what a pun is? There's, I mean, buddy. There's so many puns. I mean, 
No, Why are you I'm getting so spot. excited? Dude, now I I'm on the spot. Never like, I've seen you be so excited <laughs> in my life. But now dude. the pressure's on. Like a pun. Uh, <laughs> I would love. I would love for you like, not to I know mean, what it is. It would be like it would be like here, like it would be a sign, and then be like, "Why does it have to be?" Because we're still talking about marching. Okay, right now. okay. And okay. on the sign, it'd be like, "I got a pussy." Trump can touch, and then it would be like a lion in the background because that lion is essentially like a pussy cat, and it's like, it's like I'll fuck him up, you know? Okay, so that so that's a terrible pun, but but that is a pun. Yeah. So. All right, I don't. I, I mean, I almost, huh? I almost want to like look at the definition of what a pun is because, like, can can I can if I? If you look that? it up, it actually says was bullied in high school. That's the definition of a pun. Was uh, bullied in high school. Yeah, was bullied in high school. Yeah. I mean, there's so much better puns out there. I'm just terrible can at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do Go, it. Google I'm, a pun. I'm Google a pun. Now, and while you do that, uh, I just want to say this is episode six where we try the magical ice cream burrito. <laughs> Yeah, so those royalty-free sound effects for you right there. Uh, or as one guy said, is that a cotton candy tortilla? Which arguably was the weirdest thing I've read all week. It was it was disgusting. But before we go into that, can I can I read yeah, what this is? Let I'm, the world I'm, know. I'm, I'm honestly, just killing time. I'm honestly a okay, pun. a pun. A joke exploiting the different possible meanings True. of a word or the fact that there are words which sound alike but have different meanings. Okay, examples of puns. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone's yelling yes. into their phones. Also, everybody listening idiot. also knows what a pun is. Uh, that's what I'm saying. They're all yelling, "You fucking idiot, Michael!" But they Everyone don't have a, a, a definition. I feel like you just know. You're just born with it. Like, okay, so, uh, so this is an example. Santa's helpers are known as subordinate clauses. Trash. Ugh. Um, there's like funny ones. Like okay, um, she had a fo- uh, where's a better one? Um, the Two pianists had a good marriage. They always were. Look at this one right here. A boiled egg every morning is hard to beat because you can't beat it. Egg oh, beater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's so shit like that. So like, if you like, like puns, on, so if you like puns, you're a virgin. That's what I'm saying. Was word. bullied in high school. Word. Oh, bullied? oh, that's what you meant. Yes. Oh. Yeah, puns are like, yeah. Have you ever heard somebody call something not funny, but punny? Oh, I'll fight that person. You gotta fight my mom, dog. <laughs> no, I don't want to fight your mom. I don't. I don't. No, but your mom was in, your mom's into puns. She loves them. Really? Oh is your, yeah. Did you? Uh, is your mom? You, you feel like you come from? I, I feel like you come from like a very educated family. Is that wrong? Yes, but yeah. I was like on the on the outskirts. Not you though. You no, seem dumb no, no, to no. me. Yeah, yeah. But 100%. your parents seem very very intelligent. Very smart. Really? Uh, oh yeah, dude. My mom We're, went to UCSB. My dad wor- went straight to like working at GNC like really early on. My sister went to uh, Cal Poly like. I went to a state school. So you're uh, dumb, dude. Yes. Well, I'm I'm the, I'm by far the dumbest in my family. It's it's really it's really not even close. But yeah, that's why I do this. Because right. when I'm talking, I don't have to spell the words out. You ever try to write a thank you card recently? Dog. Sweating. Dude. Sincerely. Oh, sincerely. You got sincerely? I got deer and I'm like I, I don't know I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I don't know you where. You wrote I'm the at. one with antlers and shit. You're <laughs> like, "Yo, I'm committing to it." Yo. And then you write around it be like, "Hope your holiday was good. Maybe you saw a deer." Yep. Michael. Yeah. yeah. Cuz and and how how crazy when you cross something out on a card you go, "Well, I guess I have to throw this away." But then you look Can at you the throw back. It away? Well, this is the thing. I look at the back and I go, "I spent $9 on a yep. card." I'm, yep. Yep. First of all, can we talk about, dude, people are marching over the price of like gasoline. Can we talk about the price of Hallmark cards? Bro, they are fucking booming in business. The Bitcoin of just sincerity is really all it is. Buddy, it's Text like, me. I looked at the back of a card, a Hallmark card recently. Uh-huh. I was getting it for my mom's birthday and I go, listen. Good son. Okay, cool. So do I either pay my phone bill or do I buy this card? Well, dude, because it's like we're in this era where it's like you open the card and then an Usher song starts playing. Yeah. Or, or, it's, or it's like there, there has to be like layers to it where it's like 3D or it pops up or it's like felt or the eyes move when you open it. Dude, I saw one where you open it up and actually uh, Usher seriously comes out of the, like him himself uh-huh. comes out of the yeah. card. He's like, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hated it. But the thing is, I spend the same amount of time opening and holding onto a card as I would if it had nothing on it. It could be a paper towel because I read it and then throw it away. Uh-huh. So when you send me that that MP3, you think I'm going to fucking just blast that card at the gym? I'm going to open it one time and I'm going to close it close immediately it. because I hate it. Right. And I'm going to put it in the garbage. So, yeah. So the $9 ones is, it's send me like a, a text. Oh, send me video, a post it note that says, got you, period. Then I know that you love me. Right. Um, but yeah, dude, when people, when people like when you're doing that, like the filling out the, the thank you cards, or whatever, when someone's watching me spell, it's over. Oh, dude. It's over. It's, whew, oh my God. And my handwriting is atrocious. 
Like it hasn't changed since second grade. Did you have to learn calligraphy? No. Or I'm sorry, not calligraphy. I was going to say cursive. I was like, cursive. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I had to learn that shit. Which I was wonder. Bullshit. I wonder if they still teach that. Because who the fuck needs to write like a Shakespearean character at this uh-huh. point? Yeah, and the thing is, is like we weren't even writing like novels. It would be like the kid went to recess to play basketball, and then we're over here like, "Is a kid went to recess with the basketball." That's, That's how, how I you felt. read cl- like it's like French a little. Bit. That's how I read cursive. Yeah, you have to read it with an accent. It doesn't make any sense. There's no reason to write cursive if you don't. The do only it reason I ever wanted to be good at cursive is so I have a dope signature. Did, did, you, did you ever doodle on your notebook like your signature like a thousand times? Of course, dude. I would do a signature because I'm like, yo. At some point, the signature's going to be worth so much money. Oh, yeah. And so I worked for hours and hours and hours. And now we're in an era where people like you, like, yo, you want my autograph? They're like, no, a selfie's fine. You're like, but let me autograph it. Yeah, I got I, a great autograph. I have carpal tunnel in my right hand because yeah, from I tried practicing so much. years oh, about dude. getting the right one. Some people just have a phenomenal signature. Phenomenal. Dude, when, That's I, trash. when I first started doing uh, road stuff, uh, it was like weird because like I would have the first like two years women would like want me to like sign their boobs like a, like a rock star. like it was like this weird like mm-hmm. two year period where i guess it was like trendy to get your boobs signed or whatever the fuck yeah so i would that would that's the only time that i've, I've signed things i've literally just signed boobs you know what i mean that's pretty cool it's a, that's a pretty good uh surface to ride on though i feel like it was uh i should be like sign my elbow you're like it's not an even surface yeah give me but titties, like a, 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 often i would imagine they had larger breasts that they wanted you to if you had to sign some a cups then well, then you're just writing on a piece of cardboard, and now you're just making a sign for the march, if you think about it. That's what it is. But, dude, mostly the women that wanted me to sign their boobs had, like, fake boobs, so they're very hard. Oh, wow. They're very hard. It's like, so it's like si- riding on a balloon. It's exactly like riding yeah, on a balloon. Yeah, because you got to be careful. Filled with uh, pudding. Pudding. That's exactly what it is. Pudding? Yeah, pudding. A fake boob. That's all? Filled, yeah. Oh. Feels like a like a balloon filled with, like, pudding. It's like frozen pudding? Like custard? Pudding's pretty, like, if you fill it and put it in a, it, it, it's like. Pudding's you, heavy, though. That's what I'm saying. A boob is like, a fake boobs are generally pretty hard. I'm going to ask you this and don't get offended. Have you ever had sex? <laughs> Have I ever had sex? Dude, don't. <laughs> I like puns. Does I understand yeah, your question? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, just because I was like the most like, and 40 year old virgin, he's like, titties feel like a bag of sand. And they're like, <laughs> yo, real quick, dude. Uh, <laughs> and you're like pudding. And I was like, oh, I'm like tapioca. <laughs> dude, guys, there are certain dudes who actually like fake boobs. I'm I, not a fan. Thank you. Yeah. I'm super out. I see the incision and I'm like, that's... that's incision, dude. Are they getting in the back the of bottom. a target? No, Why the are bo- they... Uh, the bottom. Will you see the titties go in? Yeah, but they... Now they go through the nipple. Do they? Yeah. They go through the nipple. Yeah, they, they go just, through the nipple. They just butt chug it through the nipple like a funnel, like a beer bong of silicone. Butt chug? I don't know. Where the fuck are we right now? Canada? <laughs> No, wait, how do they do that? Because here's the last time. So yes, I, I was at a strip club was the last time I saw fake right. titties, right? Okay. And when they're up top doing the pull shit. Right. So you got to, the, the view is straight up. And all I could yeah. see for all the girls with the fake titties was just the line underneath it. The line. And it was weird. It's gross. It's uh, it's gross. Uh, it, yeah, I, I'm 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 out. I'm out. I like uh, I like traditional. Natty tits. Natty light tits. Natty dude. light tits. I'm in. Yeah. The natural. I feel like you can't say tits anymore. No? I feel like tits is like... It, th- I feel like tits- once you're over 17, people are like, hey, hey, hey. What do you mean by that, huh? But tits sounds so like dismissive. You have to tits? say like breasts and boobs. Like tits is like when you call a girl, you're like, hey, honey. You can't do it. Like they will they will kill. I mean, I've never said that, but like they'll kill you. <laughs> they, they'll kill you. You know what I mean? Say like, tits? Saying tits. Yeah, you got nice tits. It's like dismissive almost. I feel that. You know what I mean? You got like, you got a nice, uh, you got a nice set of boobs. Physique. Yeah, you got a nice physique. physique. Yeah, Loki, you can get away with blatantly hitting on a girl if by just disguising it. Like yeah. you say physique, the pH up front, nobody's ever been hit on like Oof. and been offended with a well, pH up front. At, they look at you and they go, oh, this guy's a doctor. Yeah, because you could be like, that ass fat. She's like, what'd you say? You're like, pH 18. She's like, stop. Oh that's my the God. Cool ass. That, I think Loki, that's where the word came from. pH 18, that kind of fat. Yeah. It's like, yo, that bitch fat. And she's like, what? She's like, with the cool kind. She's like, damn, Derek. Okay. Why don't you just Derek. say something? <laughs> Um, yeah, the pH in the, the pH English is, language is fucking garbage, and I, I oh, hope yeah. they get rid of it forever. It, but it, it's yeah, I don't know where that came from. I hate it. I don't know why a P and an H together. Like, it's just fuck like you. just we already have a letter it for it to F, bro. <laughs> just ch- I don't. I, I talk about this on stage. It makes it literally makes me so angry because mm-hmm. there's no reason for it. Mm-hmm. It's 2019. We're good. Yeah. We're good on pHs. Change all the pHs to Fs, and we're fine. No one's gonna no one's gonna fucking march. Everyone's gonna be like, yeah, dude, that makes way more sense. Let's just do Fs. Right, especially when you're learning uh, the alphabet growing up, you're like, okay, this is a P. This is what p- 
sounds like them. This is what yep. huh, sounds like yep. you know, the kid. They're like, yeah, but those two together, it's like an F sound. You're like, yeah, how? And you're like, I'll, I'll burn your, I'll burn your house down. Yeah. I'll burn your fucking house down. Doesn't I hate make it. sense. Does not make sense at all, and it I make, don't get it. It makes me so angry. You know, it's also making me angry. I we'll feel like that. I'm my my nutrition level is a little low, and that's why I feel like I'm like extra getting like extra amped and and uh, anxiety. Why was going on with your nutrition? Yeah, I didn't even. T- I'm doing this thing with my girl. Uh, it's called uh, it's called Whole Thirty. It's like Whole this diet 30. that is supposed to like. Just sounds like a shitty sitcom. Yeah, it's really bad. It's on CBS. Mm-hmm. Got canceled after two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Got canceled before it aired. So Whole Thirty. Yeah, Whole Thirty. Um, there's thirty people on the cast. It's mm-hmm. really Whole it's 30. it's too right. it's too full. Um, no, Whole Thirty diet. Uh, it's essentially to retrain like your habits. Like it's to retrain like you know sometimes you like see a chocolate bar, you see like whatever you're like oh I want that like it kind yeah, of every day. It, yeah. So what it does is like it uh, minimizes the amount of food that you can eat and the types of food that you can eat. So you kind of retrain your brain to like like natural uh, things that are good for you. So you can't have grain. You can't have wheat. You can't have soy. You can't have sugar. Um, you can have like meat, but it can't be processed. So gotcha. essentially, yeah. So essentially, like you're eating like meat and vegetables, but you can't have uh, you can't have legumes. You Which I legumes? just found out what that is. That's a thing? Legumes are a thing. I thought legumes were just peanuts, honestly. But apparently it's just beans, all beans. I, I thought that was just like a lake or something, but that's a lagoon. I don't know. You could be that close in the family. Like, that's the whole... Now we're back to the whole PH and F thing. Like, why is there a lagoon and a legume? Lagoon. Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach. Whole bunch of things that can be... So like, Laguna Beach is actually just a bunch of green beans. You can't eat at Laguna Beach if you're on this diet. Wow. I'm sorry. Jesus. I don't even so know... Whole lagoon, 30, yeah. So... So no carbs, no carbs, none, zero. See, that's where I'm out, dude. Carbs are like, yeah, yeah. Carbs kind of like if you correlate happiness and food, a lot of times that goes with it. Carbs are like the ecstasy of food because when you eat them, you're like, yeah, I feel so good. Yeah. And then you look in the mirror and you're like, ah, I feel so fat. Yeah, you look, uh, I, dude. It's uh, it's essentially the diet's like you can't have all this stuff, uh, and the side effect is depression. Yeah. Like you, for the first couple of days, you're like cool with it. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm fine right now. Yeah. But I feel. And like, because dude, you cut out sugar, like almost completely out of your diet. Shit starts, you start to get angry. So you must have hated today's challenge. Oh, today's challenge was, uh, well, this is the only time I broke it was uh-huh. for the, was for the challenge. And I don't even like sweet things. So I was very, I was nervous about this thing because uh-huh. it looked packed with sugar. Oh, dude. It, it must be 300 or 400 every grams of color sugar. of the rainbow. Yeah. It was like. Like everything healthy is green. This was a complete opposite. It oh. was like baby blue and Dude. pink. Like it, it looked like a hot topic store just just on a bowl though. It was aggressive with the colors. Was that so? You don't like sweets? You said no, I don't. So when did you kind of cut that out, or was there a point where you're like, all right, this is the last abba zabba, and then you flushed it down the drain? This is what happened. I was uh, I never had too many sweets, but I would have a lot of. Uh, soda. You were sucking pudding out of titties, and you were like, "This is too much." This is too much. Yeah, it was tapioca. Tapioca. Was tapioca. I can see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, tapioca yeah. is really strong. Uh, but yeah, I was doing a lot of. Uh, I was drinking like a lot of like Coca Cola yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. like you know, and and soda because at the time I was like bartending at the time, so like I wouldn't and I I don't really right. drink that much, so I was bartending, so I, I would just like I would end up drinking like six cokes in a shift. Ugh. And I was just like, yo, this is too much. And then I looked at the sugar content per Coke. Do you want to guess how many grams? First of all, you're supposed to have 30, I think as a full grown man, you're supposed to have like 32 to 35 grams of uh-huh. sugar. Like that's what you're supposed to have per day, bro. Jesus Do you know how Christ. many grams of sugar in are, are in a can of Coke? Isn't it like 60? Bro, it's like 60 to 70 grams Sheesh. in one can of coke and people dude. just throw on that back just for fucking willy nilly just to kill some time oh willy nilly like it's no big deal they're, they're not even thirsty like you hey, know what messed me up is like what? when because like you say 60 grams you're like okay that's a lot and then it's like in the textbooks they would show like a spoon yeah. and then like the mound of sugar like this is yeah. 60 grams it'd be like six spoons you're like oh my god yeah dude in new york they would show you how many uh you know those sugar packets yeah because people can visualize what a sugar packet is they would tell right. you how many sugar packets are in a coke and Jesus like you see Christ. the amount of sugar packets it's like nine or ten bro Fuck. in one can of coke like ten of those it's it's disgusting dude. did you ever see those people that like they make their coffee with that much sugar they're just ripping packets open and dumping it in there i was like yo i don't think the coffee's yeah. doing much for you i think it's the sugar that's getting y'all amped up yeah they well here, i mean they get amped up and then an hour later they they just need to fall asleep oh yeah that crash is hard dude and then you realize that there's sugar in everything bro. yeah there's sugar, there's like seven, eight grams of sugar in a slice of wheat bread. Really? Yeah. 
So you're like, oh, cool, man. I can't eat anything, bro. So now are you on a level where like everything you eat, you check the ingredients beforehand, just make sure like- I oh. never thought I would be that dude. I yeah. never thought I would be that dude that I'm at a restaurant and be like, well, is there like any a special sauce on the salmon because oh, I'm on a God. diet? I've never thought I'd be that dude. I feel like- Now you are, dude. I know. I don't feel good about it. No? No, I don't. I don't, cause I like, you know, you got to have empathy for these servers and they're like, they're, you know, they're super busy and then you, they have to break down the menu for them. For yeah. You, you got to ask a question they've never been asked before. And they're like, do I just bear down and answer or do I go ask the chef? Sometimes I feel like there's bullshit. They're like, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's no peanuts in the peanut sauce. You're fine. The guy's like, well, what the fuck? Yeah. 100. Am I going to die? You're like, ah, uh, you should be chill. You should be chill. Chill, chill, chill. No. Am I going to die? Chill. You'll be chill. chill. Yeah. You should be, uh, you should be fine. Yeah. You should be good. Yeah, no, Judge. I said uh, he'll be chill. chill. I did not say he'll be fine. Chill so, implying his body was chilled because he died. Because he died. died. Exactly. So you can't eat carbs, sugar. So it's mainly. So you just have a lot of meat and vegetables. Just a lot of meat and that's, vegetables. That's chill. It's fine. It's it's fine. It do, it does get me like recently. I went to this burger place, and you can't have bread, obviously. So I got like the the lettuce wrap shit, yeah. right? But then it you can't have any sauce on it because all the yeah. sauces have sugar. So I'm getting like. I'm, literally, this is my burger. Lettuce wrap, burger, avocado, uh, tomato, and onion. That's it. Sounds pretty good. It does, but uh, bro, it's, it needs it's, something. It needs something. It needs, yeah. So you're eating it and you're like, oh shit, I just spent $7 on this, but it still, it tastes like the desert because At it's At that point, so, you're just eating so your body is like satisfied. That's ex You feel like an animal a little bit. Yeah. Because you're like just pounding vegetables and eating like dry chicken and shit. It's not, it, it will, yeah. I recommend it. I recommend it because I think it'll, it'll increase better like eating habits, mm -hmm. but it is hard at certain points, especially lunchtime, dude, because lunch is bread. That's lunch is bread. Yeah. yeah. If you, what were you saying? If you actually, if you, bread and French is. Oh, yeah. Bread. Yeah. Yeah. Bre it, no. Br <laughs> if you say bread in French, it means lunch. Yeah. Carbs, carbs and all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> that, I, wow. I need some carbs. Uh, but yeah, dude, it's, lunch is like notorious for just carbs. That's where bread shines. That's like its moment every day. It's like, what up? You having a sandwich today? Oh, yeah, no. Dude. Can I interest you in a fucking wrap dog? Oh, you don't want a tortilla? Okay. You want a crouton? <laughs> I don't know why carbs get you, a little yeah. street. You don't want no motherfucking crouton. You don't want a muffin, huh? Nothing. You got, Okay. See, I always, bro, carbs are just there, dude. Oh. Like, you ever had a Starbucks blueberry muffin? <laughs> Yo, you ever you ever a Starbucks a uh, lemon cake? Oh, dude. dude, see that's where like I put myself on the line. Where I was like, so so, are you able to like do you do the cheat shit? Um, the only time I've cheated so far has been with our challenge that we did yesterday. That's cream. it. Do the ice cream thing, dude. Th have you heard about these insane the insane diets? There's no, like I got there's I, worse I, than yeah, the, the whole thirty, I, I which really, also sounds like a cover band that plays at Trader Joe's every Thursday night. Tonight is the whole thirty playing and, their classic hits. No more gluten, guys. <laughs> and there's actually thirty of them. I keep going back to it. I think it's so funny to have a cast, a sitcom of thirty goddamn people, thirty people, or like a band at Whole Foods with thirty people. Everyone's making eleven dollars for that oh, gig. God. Um, where is this dude? Where is this? I brought this up. Oh, okay. Seven extreme diets. There are some bullshit diets out there. Bro, I mean, there's, okay, there's a grapefruit diet. What uh, the fuck? Yeah, you eat half a grapefruit before every meal. You eat mm -hmm. your meal at normal times, but forgo dessert bread and white vegetables um, while blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so essentially you just have to eat a half a grapefruit before every meal. How do you tote around... You just got a grapefruit. dime bag of grapefruit on you at all times. Can you just, yeah, you just fill a Jansport just full yeah. of grapefruit. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried to peel a grapefruit. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, you're like, yeah, uh, so, can I can I get the check and also uh, a machete, please? Yeah, a machete and 19 towels because I am covered in grapefruit. <laughs> That's the most inconvenient. Like, if they're like, have a blueberry before, I'd be like, bet, got you, got one in the pocket, right? Yeah. Grapefruit is a large fruit. And you got to eat half of one. Have right. you ever had grapefruit no sugar? Yeah. It's vile it's it's bold it feels like you're eating like high octane gasoline i would rather eat wine not drink it eat it how you eat wine man just, you just chomp on it <laughs> <laughs> instead of drinking it, you just chomp on it because wine to me is too acidic but that's kind of a grapefruit you chomping on it dude it's it's uh, grapefruits are that's a bold grapefruit is grapefruit is just like drinking vinegar to me it's really disgusting yeah. here's the worst one that i found there's a tapeworm Oof, what the fuck diet i hate that already what is it you eat a tapeworm so it can grow inside you. And it just eats 
It just, I'll tell you what it does. It says why people try this. The tapeworm will reduce the calories that your body absorbs so you can still eat the same amount and lose weight. Many dieters think they will magically lose weight without any side effects, and that is no big deal. This is literally a parasite living in your gastrointestinal system, and the tapeworm eats, gobbles up food and nutrition that you will need. That is disgusting, First bro. of all, but like, where it's... It's still inside of you. No matter how much it eats, like what if it like what it's still in like it's not disposing of it. I, I guess it's not it, like it's taking out the trash every Wednesday night, like, hey, I'm done with all this stuff, you can get rid of it. I mean, I guess I mean I'm guessing that it eats it, like it absorbs it Dude, or whatever, so you worms? lose weight and then you like where yeah, where does it go? Where do you buy a tapeworm? Peco. Just do it in the back alley. He's like, yo, you got them tapeworms? He's like you yeah, follow 20, me, dog. Two twenty, bro. Two you're trying 20. to like, you buy snakes every time you go there to hide the fact. You're like, yeah, yeah. just feeding him. They're like, he eats mice, and you're like, yeah, I know. And then you just run to your car. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where you. How do you I, get it out of you? Like, how do you like be like, yo, I'm done. I'm thin enough. Yeah, do you get it? How do you have like you drink you a shit ton of booze? You're like, die, tapeworm. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking weird diet, dude. It's so weird, man. It's and it's like also like so it eats all the it eats all the, the nutrients, right? So then it's like, where does those nutrients go? Does it shit and then it goes into your system and then you shit? That's out what I'm the, saying. Like it's not yeah. expo- It's not getting rid of it. I oh, don't know, man. Can I you imagine? That. Can you imagine that. hating your? For, to me, that's the most. You're just lazy, dude. Yeah, you're just fucking. It's like, hey, man. I would rather eat a fucking worm than go to 24 hour fitness gym. Oh yeah. Buddy, get on a treadmill. <laughs> you're at a shitty place in your life where you're willing to eat worms over going on a fucking treadmill. Hey bro, run a little. Could you imagine saying that like it out in public, like confident, like, yeah, I'm on this new tapeworm diet. Pretty good. Um, so my liver he started chewing at, but I just patted my stomach twice just to get him <laughs> off. But he's fine. He's a cute one. You can feel him eating me right now. You're like, yeah. yo, what? You start taking pictures of like you and your wife, just like your your ears on her belly. It's a tapeworm. It's six months old. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking weird, dude. It's disgusting, dude. It's it's just think about a tapeworm just like swimming inside of you. And that's, that's like your weird. diet, bro. Dude, that's like what like dogs get and shit. A hundred percent is what dogs get. Is it worse? Give it to me. Then the soup diet, where you eat. What the fuck is the soup? The diet? The soup diet is where you eat soup for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What are you talking about? You haven't heard of the souping no. diet? No. So, so it's literally just soup. It's just soup. I don't know how oh, or I what the I, fuck is it. I don't know how it works. I think I did hear this. I uh-huh. think I did hear this because it's essentially like a juice cleanse, but instead of a juice cleanse, you use soup. Yeah. So instead of waking up and having your little pomegranate and grapefruit, it's just chowder. You just wait. You just start your morning with chowder, which yeah. is a very aggressive way to start the day. Oh my god! Can you imagine starting your day with chowder and then having to go into a restaurant for lunch and be like, "Hey, do you have any shrimp bits?" <laughs> what? And the dude looks at you, and goes, "Yo, it's ninety five degrees." Right. That's the thing. If it's raining, you can get away with it. Like yeah. you got like two weeks out of the year in California where you can have soup at any given moment and you're fine. But dude, you you eat soup. In the summer? In the for summer. For breakfast? Yo, you know what's hilarious? You eat dinner, a soup dinner, and then he goes, do you want any dessert? And you go, yeah, do you have any soup? You got any more soup? <laughs> His, uh, what is your soup of the day? I'll get nine of those. Yeah, do you have any chocolate soup? <laughs> oh, God. Imagine being known as a soup guy. Ugh. Soup is just, uh, the word soup is depressing in itself. Dude, it's so depressing. The, when I when you when I say soup, I think of suicide and rain. Dude. That's what I think. What, what yeah. comes to mind when you say soup? Soup kitchen. Soup like, kitchen, which homeless. is not good. Yeah, yeah. But like nobody's ever been, like, oh God. Like if I just pointed at a random guy on the street and I was like, yo, that guy had soup. He'd be like, ugh. Like, yeah, it's, it it's a weird. It's an old, it's a really old person thing to it do. It really is. To me, like the only the only like person that should eat soup is like a tapeworm. You know what I mean? Like I can see like a depressed just tapeworm. Swimming in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just eating it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. I'm tired of eating all these burgers. All right. Where's my chicken noodle? <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. That's that soup is fucking. I can't believe it's a diet. That's yeah. what's crazy to me. It's a fucking diet. This is hilarious to wake up first thing in the morning and be like, ah, some tomato soup, baby. <laughs> <laughs> damn, to start the day. You're going to have some coffee? Crackers? <laughs> God damn. Dude, I can't. Uh, all these diets, for the most part, they just like the weird extreme ones. Again, dude, they just seem lazy to me. Yeah. It's just like they just, I don't know, man. Why don't you just try to eat right a little instead of just going? It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, not gonna try to like lower my caloric intake. I'm just uh-huh. gonna go to soup. But, I mean, what? the one you're doing is like makes sense because it's like regulating what you eat and all that stuff. But then there's people that are like, oh, I do intermittent fasting. I don't eat till six p.m. and then I have nine thousand calories. I don't see how that one works. The most hilarious thing about intermittent fasting, it's literally sleep. 
Like people throw around intermittent fasting like it's like some new thing. Right. The intermittent fasting is supposed to be like eight to nine hours. That's exactly what you do. You have dinner. You have sleep. dinner at eight or nine. Then you go to sleep at like eleven. So the last time you ate is nine. You go to sleep at like eleven. You wake up. Then you have breakfast at what time? Nine. That's twelve hours of fasting. And people are like, "What you gotta do? All you gotta do is twelve hours fasting." Dude, I know people. Yeah, that what like, do you do every fucking day? You do that. Yeah, I know people that are like, "I don't have my first meal till like four p.m." I was like, "Bro, I would be on the freeway just with a machete with anger. Like, I have to eat before I leave the Dude, house." If I if I get to a point where I'm hungry, bro. I will uppercut an orphan for half, a, just a, a half a quesadilla. Nobody matters when when you're when, I, when I'm hungry, dude. It's just like, dude. That's I think that's why people are are racist. Is just because they haven't had enough protein for the day. It's like the Snickers commercial. It's dude, like, yeah, those KKK things. You can't fit. They're just food hungry. In. Exactly. If you if they just like put a mouth on the KKK thing, mm -hmm. I think they'd be less racist. You could just put some gr grilled cheese in there. It'd be <laughs> right? fun. Yeah, because right now they're just. All they got Angry is their dude. eye holes, and you can't eat through those. So, bro, that's all, all it is, man. All KKK members are is just a walking Snickers commercial, and all you gotta do. What if Snickers made that what fucking if? commercial, bro? And everybody's all mad, but then they're like, "Yo, they do got a point, though. They're not you when you're." <laughs> it'd be so funny, like you're not you when you're hungry, and then he takes a bite of the Snickers and he turns into just a random guy at the office. They're like, "You feel better, Mike?" He's like. I do. You know, it'd be so funny. I feel if, better. You know, it'd be funny if it was a KKK member and it was like it, whatever the Snickers commercial, and he eats something and he takes up the hood and it's LeBron James. Now I feel better. That would be. There's <laughs> so many levels. To what you just said, I wow. That the KKK hoodie has like a Nike sign on it. You're like, you guys were behind this the whole time. Like, yeah, I mean, Sorry, LeBron. So. Um, that's insane. All those diets are just like, yeah, I don't know. Because people will. Diets have like a weird connotation to it because anytime somebody says they're on a diet, like, oh, here we go again. I know. But some make more sense the more you talk about it. But I think it's come to a point where like some of them are just fucking ridiculous. I, I don't I don't even want to bring up the fact that I'm doing this. But because, yours is normal. Yeah, but it still seems pretentious to me. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, I don't like, that's why I don't like going to restaurants and stuff because I have to be so specific with what I want. And right. I feel bad for the, I feel bad for the people that are eating with me. I feel bad for the, the waiter that's like, hey man, fuck you, bro. This is my 13th hour. Right. Just order a thing that's on the menu. Yeah. Don't be like, hey, does the avocado have any type of a sauce in it? Like kill yourself, dude. Right, right. So I feel, I just feel bad for everyone involved. And then people are like, why you do that? And I have to go through the whole spiel. And then like, I want to be like, the I, annoying part. Yeah, it's dude. like a constant tattoo. It's like, oh, well, why do you do that? How'd you get that? Where, yeah. How'd you end up here? You're like, it's like it. when you're, when you're not like, trying to die by 38, I guess. I don't know. Is that, <laughs> yeah. but you have a slim gym. You'll be fine. Oh, dude. It's like when you're walking around with a cast and everyone's like, what mm. happened? What's wrong? What happened? Mm -hmm. If I, I've never broken anything, but if I have a cast, I'm just going to write on what it. happened on yeah. it. I'm just going to write car accident and just walk around with it. You know what I mean? Like, and just, yeah. just read the shit. All right. But people would still ask you like, well, what kind of car? Do you have insurance? I'll stay which one? Because I, I I feel like you, it just went broke. Is it Geico? Because you can save fifteen percent or more. Did you know that? More. Did you know that? And then the camera's cut. You're on a commercial the whole time. Actually, yeah, yeah. that's and a good check right there. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I just think uh, just eat healthier. It's really it. Just eat healthy. Do you go to the gym? Yeah, you do. I'll what go, do you like, do at the gym? I, a lot of cardio. Yeah, stuff like that. I used to like. Like, dude, I was a guy in college that would literally do chest and biceps. It's called a fraternity workout, and Word. it's beneficial to nobody, really, besides your tank top shirt. But it's that was like my, like, I would go jog like half a mile just so I could get like one or two sweat beads, yeah, yeah. crank the arms, crank the chest, and then go hit like some Taco Tuesday. And just be hammered. Like, did you see results from that? Or did yeah, you but only there. Better? But like, you know when you're like fat buff? Yeah. Where, where yeah, like I wasn't toned, but like... It look in the right angle after I hit some chest and some right. shit. You can see some chest definition. I've always had like biceps for whatever reason. Word. So uh that was just my go to. And then now I'll just do some like cardio just to like You know the sweat best <clears throat> you know the best that you look ever, not you specifically, just in general, like your body is right after sex. If you oh, yeah. if you fuck and then get up and then go to a mirror, you're fucking jacked. Mm -hmm. That's actually what they do in the Olympics, you know that? They fuck and yeah, then they, they fuck right before pictures. Sick, dude. Oh yeah. Dude, there, I heard there's so much fucking. That's in that what camp. also I heard too. Yeah, they're like they're like hardcore banging. Yeah, because I it's mean, like that, that makes the most sense to it's me. It's like in also the world. like you're from Beijing and I'm from the U.S. Like we're never gonna cross paths again. No. Might as well. It's like yo, I'm a gold medalist. 
you a silver. Let's get this going. You know, let's make a little bronze baby tonight. Do you think they like? Uh, do you think if like the girls like a like a ribbon like a rim rhythmic gymnastics person and the dudes like a whatever like a like Pole a like, like a you know <laughs> shot put? Do you think they look down on other sports? You know what I mean? And they won't have sex with that person 100%. because you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, bro, nobody's fucking the shot put guy. Are you kidding me? I don't know. I think the shot put guy gets gets fucked. Really? In. Yeah, it gets who, who gets whatever, the least action at the Olympics. Into. Ooh, who gets the least? Probably action? like a, like a, like a shitty swimmer, like a, maybe butterfly. Honestly, bro, you know who I think gets the gets the no no uh, no pussy are the dudes that uh, that do the that dive at the same time. What are those called? You know, they jump and they do the s- symmetrical diving. Or whatever. You think? It's called? I, I feel I, like if you if you land a clean one, you, you got some good. Like, bro, you land a clean dive. I feel like your girl's like, yo, just do that, but inside of me, you know? Also, Land that in me. <laughs> Give me a 10 out of 10 now. Also, I think the majority of them that I've seen, I think like if you're diving with another dude, you're probably fucking him, right? I don't know how many straight, whatever Do you know called. a lot of divers? Yeah, dude. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. Hey, well, hey, you know? <laughs> literally <laughs> nothing to say on those hey do what you gotta do man you know it's oh, uh, sports man. and shit I did, don't you, know. did I, you play sports as a kid not really nothing I played, I played like I think as a middle schooler you just somehow like always play soccer did you play soccer growing up I played soccer but I don't even know did you ever know how to play not really I, I, I literally did it so my parents would like be like yeah there's two hours that he can just fuck off you know you think so yeah I was not good like, here's the thing. Did you if enjoy you, it, though? No, God, no. You if, didn't enjoy it? Mm-mm. I just like the halftime because you get, like, frozen grapes. Fire, by the way. Oh, uh, fire, dude. Uh, I, dude. I used to... I didn't even really know how to play, but this is how, like... This is how, like, egotistical I was as a kid. I literally would be, like... Uh, I would I would venture off, like, out of, like, where all the action was happening mm-hmm. on the field. I would venture off on purpose, <laughs> kneel down, and then pretend I was doing something, and then I would literally pick uh, my head up and be like, they need me. And then run towards the thing with no really goal in mind. Right, just but, sprint. Yeah, but I would just, I would, that's how he gets to I was like, they yeah. need me. I literally remember that. So, I don't know what, why my little brain did that, uh-huh. but I wanted to feel, I guess, needed. And yeah, I just I was, ran into the fray. I, I didn't even know what I was not doing. I an athletic kid. I, I played football for one season and they put me at wide receiver. Oh, no. Mainly because they were a running team, uh, <laughs> a big running. And I remember because one game, they I, I just took off and I had a wide open route and the dude hell marries it to me, bombs it. Yeah. Didn't catch it. And the coach was like, what the fuck? Like you were wide open. I was like, yeah. yeah, but you guys just put me here just so I could fuck off pretty much and not have a mom yelling at you at halftime. Yeah. So also- my son's not playing enough. And then I was like, uh, yeah. Oh, you want me to catch that? Oh, buddy, we're not. <laughs> Woo, God no. Just like, dude, look at this hair. This doesn't. Yeah. This hair does not deserve to be mm-hmm. underneath a helmet. Well, that and it's also like, as, as a kid, I had red hair, so I was like, yeah, don't put me on the field, you know. Or always put me on the field so I can wear the helmet so no one can know I have red hair. True. Yeah, I was never athletic, so dude, I remember I played football my freshman season of uh, high school, and the and I never played football, never played tackle football my entire life. And, uh, but I was like one of the, like the fastest. So they had me at punt returner. Uh. So dog first game, dog, mm-hmm. I fucking, they punt it to me, catch it. Thank God. I run 10 yards and then get crushed. Yeah. I'm talking I about a feeling this, where the dude, this going. dude just leveled me to a place that I didn't even know. It, like, I think I got like a mock concussion because I didn't know where I was at first. And he looked over me. He goes, don't get up. Welcome to football. He really like, said that? I swear to God, dude. He goes, don't get up. What? Welcome to football. <laughs> like he knew my life or something. It was very weird. Wait, so what Disney Channel film was this on the set of? No, Th- That's I, the most like yeah. movie thing a guy could have said. Well, don't get up. This is football. I You're woke like, up from a dream and that was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> You're still on the ground having PTSD. Um, but that, that, really, that really happened, dude. And I was like, wow. I was like, oh, wow. And my whole body hurt. And then like I had to in like another quarter, I had to do it again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was very, very terrifying. Oh, yeah, dude. We used to do drills in football, and they would always put me up against, like, the buffest dudes. I think coaches yeah. know what they're doing. They're like, we, this is, we're back to the Roman Empire shit. We want to see the little kid go against the running back who right. has a mustache and granted a five o'clock shadow at age 12. Let's see him against Trevor. Yeah, he, he looks 
she looked so old to a point where you're like, give me your birth certificate, bro. I want to see your birth certificate right now. Oh, yeah, dude. It, it, was, it was not good. But I don't know. Somehow I stayed in shape. I don't, may, maybe my uh, maybe it'll just catch up to me in a few years. You got you to gotta go consistently go to the gym because there, there is something to be said with like skinny fat. They're skinny fat. Yeah, like yeah, You can yeah, be like, yeah, oh, yeah. you're skinny, but then you get, then you have 66% body fat. Right. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? 100%. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I try to eat somewhat well, but then th- there's definitely those things that pop up. But you're like, yeah, why the fuck wouldn't I just get a, like, fat cells is a great example of that. What's you, fat cells? You, so it's, I, th- I think it's only in LA. It might be a chain, All but right. they literally take every appetizer you would find at a Super Bowl party and just stuff it in a sandwich. It's like mozzarella sticks, uh, no. cheese, uh, chicken tenders, lunch meat, uh, uh, tater tots. And they're like, literally, like, name, like the diabetic. You know, like, they're like crazy names. Every once in a while, I'll just get like a wild craving for that. And you're like, I'll fuck around and grab one. Is it in one sandwich? Yeah, one sandwich. It's like, like man it, versus food it, type shit. It, oh, so it's like massive. Yeah. You've literally got it on multiple occasions? Or I think like three times. Wow. Yeah. You yeah. ever finish it? Nah. Because it's it gotta sounds be, good. And yeah. then you take a few bites and you're like, yo, this is not chill. Yeah, it's like, it's like uh, eggnog for me. Eggnog, yeah. I get it. I'm like, take three sips, and I'm like, yo, this is the best thing. Yeah, it's four a, sip. I'm like, I'll fucking vomit. Yeah, it's a sandwich you got to eat alone somewhere. Like, you don't want to be in public eating that. No, so it was, it was, it was. Does weird. it come with a shot of tapeworms? <laughs> I wish, dude. <laughs> uh, dude, maybe they put so much in there. Like, if you Google it, like, <sighs> but it's like, it's like a thing. People in like LA are like, yeah, fat sales. And I'm like, what? Is it like a challenge or it's like a real thing? I think it's literally. I don't even know, dude. It's it's aggressive. That's all it is. That's all you need to know. Oh, but it's like worse than smoking a pack of Marlboro cigarettes it's for you. Disgu- Ew, it's it's so bull. Funny. But dude, I, but I mean, it's the same idea of the ice cream burrito we had because they stuffed just yeah. a whole bunch of stuff in one. Yeah, I yeah, it was it was I was not looking forward to it at all. Like some of these things we've done, I'm like, oh, I'd love to yeah. throw axes. Like I'm I'm into this. I like and mm-hmm. but this one again for the sixth time. Like I don't. Like sweets at all. I try to stay with them. I drink black coffee like a fucking adult because yeah. I pay taxes. True, same. And I fuck, dude. You know what I mean? Fist bump. Yeah, dude. There was an <laughs> there was a little pause that should have been inserted in there. You said I fuck, dude. It should have been because I fuck pause, dude. You were like I fuck, dude. Oh, word. I need so a it sounded like there's one dude out there that you just fuck. <laughs> I yeah. fuck, dude. His name's not even, he doesn't have a name. It's just dude. Dude, I told you I'm a diver, bro. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. It's a diver. That would be. I feel like that's gonna be a futuristic term. Like yo. He, Hey, he's he a, a diver. He a like, diver. Oh, okay, awesome. all right. That explains uh, the the pleather pants. But okay, <laughs> he's the diver, dude. That's what that's what you put on the signs. <laughs> he's a <go>, diver. <laughs> Rights <laughs> for a diver. Rights <laughs> for a diver. And then all this in the south, you just see like those signs that you see by a pool. It's like no diving. You're like, geez, you guys are really yeah. not <laughs> with the movement, dude. Everybody in LA is all about divers. Like we're all open to divers, but you guys got the signs on every bathroom. No divers. You're like, Jesus Christ, Everyone's Leroy. Everyone's speedos around here, dude. Relax. <laughs> can, can we dive in this bar? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not a dive bar. Gotcha. Oh. Holy shit, dude. Our dive bar is just the new gay bar? What? <laughs> That's my head exploding. Figuring some shit out, dude. Uh, but yeah, we drink black coffee is what I was trying to say. Uh, yeah, we drink black coffee. But yeah, dude, that that um that burrito. So it's at it's at it the feels milk- weird calling it a burrito. Also, it, it does. It doesn't. It, well, I mean, it was, I think it was, anything wrapped up is a burrito. It, it it sounds better than an ice cream wrap. Yeah, wrap, that sounds like you're trying to be healthy. Yeah, wrap seems healthy. Anything rolled up is a burrito. I guess so. If yeah. you roll yourself up a into a carpet, yeah, you can be considered a burrito. A burrito. Yeah, yeah. So cannibals, you're a burrito. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we just found that out. Um, but I was, were you looking forward to it? Because I, I was not. I was stoked on it. I'm Dog. a big sweets guy. I love sweets. Uh, any excuse, like, I'll just be at work or just working at my desk and just go get a pack of Skittles. A 26-year-old man will just go and spend <laughs> hard-earned cash on Skittles, dude. <laughs> I like, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I know who I am. I'm I'm a sucker for that type stuff. Really? And anything with bright colors. I'm I'm just like a kid on fucking ecstasy. You, you throw a bright color in front of me and I'm like, well, what is that? You like, love it. Dude, you know those sodas growing up? Like the Jones' soda? You remember those? The jo- what? Jones' soda? No. No? No, dude. I, I, they were big out here, but they, were, they had like blue sodas. And I was like, I need it. Colors, yeah. like, yeah. I was a big Mountain Dew guy. Mountain Dew's because great. Of, dude, Mountain Dew Code Red, bro? Code Red Fire. Did you ever have the blue ones? Woo! Yes. Blue ones were great. Did you have the orange one? There was no, an orange, there was an orange was one. It, called? it wasn't called Code Red. It was called like... Uh, oh, man. Game Fuel. It was called Game Fuel. Game Fuel, I think I did bro. have it. Dude, they fucking... They never missed, I don't think. 
No. Like some people I'm like, mm, I don't know about that one, but it's like, they never missed. They never missed, dude. I, I loved, loved Mountain Dew. Bah Blast. Come on now. Dog. Baja Blast. Talk dude. to me dirty, bro. Bro. Baja, Baja Blast. Blast is single-handedly keeping Taco Bell in business. Baja. Oh, dude. Taco Bell is my weakness, bro. Yeah. Don't even talk to me about Taco Bell. Right. I can't have it for like another three weeks. Yeah. But Taco Bell is incredible. Anyway, so hold on. So let's, let's, I, I love sweets. I don't know what it is. It's just like it's something yeah. about it. So for this challenge, I saw it on Instagram. It was bright colors. It was shit I love. I love cereal. Cotton candy. Fucking why not love it? You know, it's like. So let's 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 paint them the picture. I mean, I guess you guys are going to see a picture of it, but let's just paint them, paint it for them for the Spotify and, and iTunes listeners. Not that you're uh, below them or anything, but you are. But anyways, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> so what it was, it was any type of ice cream you liked. Uh, yeah. Any, they any had all type, but they recommended vanilla as like a good base, yeah. which could be like the rice of it. Maybe, you know, it's like, I, I thought about it on like a burrito. Sure. Like I, the, I, the vanilla ice cream in the middle was kind of like the rice. Yeah, and then you yeah, can put yeah. any cereal you wanted with it. Uh, and dude, they, they had, had they had a bunch. They had a bunch of cereal. Uh -huh. They had they had uh, Captain Crunch. They had Captain Crunch Captain berries. Crunch. They had the berries. They had tricks. They had cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon, Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks. They Apple, had uh, yeah. they had a Honey Nut Cheerios. They had honey any Cheerios. pretty much anything. yeah. They had Raisin Bran for the elderly. Um, Yo, if you are gonna get <laughs> that ice cream burrito and you choose Raisin Bran, yeah. dude. Then I know for sure you're on the soup diet. That's like you yeah, fucking I mean, it's loser. The same thing that people get like when when they like get something like super like they'll get animal style fries, but then their burger protein style is like I don't know if you know how this works, uh, but you just canceled yeah. everything out. That's the diet. That's the diet, diet coke? coke thing. Yeah, that's diet the diet coke. coke thing. So yeah, uh, so we got fruity pebbles on it because fruity pebbles just an OG in the game. Dude, classic fruity pebbles. I haven't had fruity pebbles in so long. It's great. I fuck with fruity pebbles. They're great, dude. What's They're your favorite cereal? Do you know, might be cinnamon toast crunch. Ooh, you know what? I, you know, I'm tied. Cinnamon toast crunch it's and great. golden grams. Golden right. grams, really? Have you had golden? Grams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't, you don't, uh, you don't seem to. They're talk solid. Um, Ooh, I just something right. about cinnamon toast crunch. You just, I've never been mad after eating cinnamon toast crunch. Never, dude. never, never. Here's the problem about cinnamon toast crunch and, the and milk golden after. Gram. I'm sorry. The cinnamon milk after. Yo. That should heat. You know what? I think that just put me over the top because the because yeah because the cinnamon toast crunch is a, is a full experience. Right. You yeah. eat the thing Start and you finish. get to drink the drink the milk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. So yeah, I think I think you just want so cinnamon toast crunch is definitely by far the best. But we got fruity pebbles. Yeah. We got fruity pebbles. Real quick, you know what I do love Reese's puffs. It's yo. They're not I out there that much. Forgot. They always had great commercials growing up. They're always hilarious. Yeah. And uh, the milk's always pretty good with those. And those are always hidden. But but those are mad sweet. Oh my God. Those those were almost as sweet as a burrito. They, yeah, it was close. They were very, yeah. very, very, very sweet. So to finish off the burrito, it's ice cream, oh, yeah. whatever cereal you want. And then it's wrapped up in cotton candy. It's wrapped in cotton candy. It looks, again, exactly like a burrito. And then uh -huh. you... It comes, and then you go, oh, I'm going to take one bite of this, and it's going to all fall the fuck apart. Right. Did not that bitch together. fall apart. And the ice cream didn't Did melt. Did not melt. It was oddly, like, I didn't want it to work out, but it worked out great. Like, the ice cream didn't melt. It stayed in contact. Like, the fact that we both ate it like it was a burrito that we got from any restaurant. Yeah, and I for sure, when it came, I, for, I looked at it, I was like, for sure, I'm going to fucking hate this. Yeah, like, it was like, this looks like uh, a Care Bears, like, childhood home. Like, it was yeah. aggressive. The colors, it was it was blue cotton candy yeah. with the fruity pebbles spilling out. Um, it looked like cancer. That's, it looked like yeah. blue cancer to yeah, me. Yeah, it, it was. And I was like, I am not going to like this. And then you actually bit first. Bit first. I knew I was going to fucking love it, dude. Ecstasy, I bro. fucking loved it, dude. It, yeah, it, it felt like I was taking a bite of like Coachella or something. It felt great. <laughs> like it's just every color. I had flashbacks. Like it was, it was oddly amazing. And like, because you were filming it. Yeah. That was a genuine reaction. I know. You weren't, we're not getting paid for this shit. Bro, no, not at all. Um, this was at Milk Tavern, though, in Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, in, shout out to Milk Tavern. Yeah. Um, super dope place. But I took a bite expecting to be like, okay, it's a fad. It's a thing. Right. But like, dude, I was like, like, I felt like my childhood, like, kicked back in. Like, I had taken, like, yeah. LSD. It was like, I got all giggly. I yeah. just started remembering, like, every line from Cat Dog. It was so weird. <laughs> and, it was, I was oddly happy with it, but my favorite thing is that you liked it. Dude, let me tell you something. I was going in there with negative vibes. Oh, yeah. 
I, dude, I don't even like sugar in my coffee. If you even put a sugar cube <laughs> right. near my coffee. Like, I get offended when they ask me, like, did you want room for cream and sugar? You're like, bitch, no. Yeah. Hey, bro. <laughs> I have a denim jacket on, dog. I got a dog. denim fucking jacket. <laughs> but uh, do you have oat milk? Oh, you do? Okay, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just put it in a separate cup. Yeah, separate cup. Yeah. Different name on it. Put it for Josh <laughs> on the side. Uh, Kevin, I'll Kevin. pick Kevin. it up behind <laughs> in the backyard. Uh, you got any tapeworms back there? Fill in the alley. Fill in the alley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just put some tapeworms in my, uh, in my, <laughs> in my blueberry muffin with it, too. Um, but um, yeah, I think you literally told me like seven different times on the way there, like, yo, I'm gonna fucking hate this. I'm gonna hate this. And I was like, dude, you I, know you like this. I took a bite slow because I was like, I'm gonna vomit. Like, for all, I thought I thought I was gonna be ill, honestly. Yeah. I took a bite and like cartoon fireworks mm-hmm. just lit off in my head. Yeah, yeah. Like I lit like dude, it was cartoon network just wrapped up. Dog, it I it I took a bite. You know what it reminded me of? It was like the Powerpuff girls. Like all the different colors and like yeah. and like the, the the mixing it together. Yeah, but you took a bite and just, I I didn't know if you were messing around for the camera, but you're like, yo, it's actually great, dude. It like I didn't even have any thoughts. The only thought I just started to giggle. Like I started right. to giggle like an Asian teenager. I was yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> I was the, so racist, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter though, because uh, we support diving in this country. So anyways, ooh, ooh, yeah, diving. Um, um, yeah, yeah, dude. I I was like, I was literally, I was just filled with joy. Right. Well, like, dude, that's like, how I felt yeah. too, because it was like all the bright I, colors and I felt like, like someone was tickling me. <laughs> right. Exactly. And I haven't bit into something like that in so long where I actually like felt instant like happiness, you know? Yeah. And, like there, there's like the satisfaction of like a great burger sure. and you're like, fuck, that's great. But like, I haven't been into something sweet and just started laughing. I was dying laughing because dude, I just, I was like, this is going to be, this is going to be like, like biting into cardboard for me. I was yeah. very unenthused. Uh-huh. And it just, it was such a, it was such an instantaneous difference. Like, yeah, I felt like I just like ate ecstasy. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, uh-huh. Ki-hua! Yeah, dude, oh. that was actually made in uh, by a Care Bear who sells drugs at festivals and stuff. So that's pretty, uh, pretty accurate. Dude, can that. you, can you imagine if you put drugs in that? I honestly feel like they put something in there. Like maybe a little, like maybe like it's stored with like laughing gas near it because I was yeah. way too happy. I was giggling, dude. I, I think I was just shocked. Like I was genuinely like, why the fuck is this so good, dude? Do you remember when you were a kid? Do you remember when you were a kid and you would like walk into like a Dave and Buster's and like that pure feeling of like oh, the joy, lights, yeah. the lights, everything. The noises. That's how I felt. Yeah. I was like great. a little that's kid great. walking into Dave and Buster's the first time and I was like, it's so beautiful. Right. I was in like slow motion, lights were passing by and I was like, oh my God. I was like extra happy to the people that were working there. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I was like, yo, what's up, dude? Yeah, we well, exchanged numbers. I'm like going to go out with Kevin <laughs> next week just to chill and get, oh, yeah. get, a, get a beer. Yeah, because he's also a diver, so it, yeah, it works out like that. Six, 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 six. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, I almost finished my thing. And even towards the end, like the ice cream was still, and like it didn't melt. The ice cream consistency, I think really made it. Because it wasn't like, you ever buy an ice cream, it's just like, like chunky. The consistency of this was just fire. Dude, the whole thing, I, this, this, after this uh, little challenge we gave ourselves, I'm starting to think like, what else do I like that I've just let myself think that I don't like? You know what I mean? There's probably a bunch of shit. Yeah. I mean, the, also the odds were definitely against that sandwich being good. Like uh, even from afar, I was like, that's going to fuck my stomach up later. Like my insides were did like, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Did it fuck your stomach up? Because I know you have like sort of like a weak little uh, like bitch stomach ass, bitch, bitch ass, stomach, yeah, bitch ass. Yeah, my stomach little, little, little That's bitch. what the doctor said to you, right? You're like, literally wait, come here. And he's like, you got a bitch ass stomach. Yeah, he's like, bro, you can't even handle a cup of coffee. Get your ass out of here, right? Start drinking some Lipton iced tea or something. Uh, my Brisk, doctor baby. is, yeah, my doctor is also a uh, small little Asian boy. So I don't know why he uh, <laughs> was so aggressive. Uh, no, I felt, I felt pretty fine. Good amount of energy after. Yeah, I felt that, that real sh- good. The sugar spike was nice, you know? They had to put something in there. I felt like... Yeah, dude, I wanted to do... I wanted to run errands. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. After I ate one of those, I was like, yo, do I need to go to the post office? Right. Because I will fuck a post dude, office. You don't, I'll you go don't. to Target. I will, I will get, I'll get hand <laughs> I'll send towels. this shit myself at the post office. Like, so, no, we have people that do that, bitch. I'm doing it today. Buddy, also, I like... I took a bite and I was like, I'm going to work here. Yeah. I'm going to work here for the discount. Right. Dude, I don't know if you saw this, but they also had for a dollar more, you could get alcohol infused ice cream. What are it. you talking Dude, about? You didn't see that? No. They, they had a sign saying you can get alcohol infused ice cream because they also have booze there that you can like, they're like wine and beer, but you get, I think that would have been fucking gross because then you're essentially just having like a frozen four loco and then nobody's happy. No, dude. Could you imagine getting drunk off that? Ooh. No, no. 
I was drunk off sugar. I can't imagine being drunk off sugar. It was the and Heineken. I wouldn't say it was the perfect amount of sugar, but it was like it was the peak. Like you can't do any more than that. So you add some alcoholic sugar in that, bro. Bro, you're supposed to have 35 grams of sugar. That was easily 3,000 grams of sugar. Well, what what did, what did, what did we say it was? It was like it was two. It was all, it was 215 grams of sugar. Yeah, that's too many grams of sugar that's like i think a monster energy drink is like 80 or something like i think that. it's around there jesus christ have you ever had a surge do you I've remember that them. shit I've heard of them yeah dude i was in michigan sh- d- shooting in a film shout out to movies flex and, flex and <laughs> shout out to movies <laughs> <laughs> just all of them ever made shout out movies shout out to feature films um yeah and dude and we were like in michigan like backwoods of michigan and so they still had like surge around Mm-hmm. I forgot how much I fucked with Surge. Surge and OG, Surge, yeah. the only reason I'm bringing it up, it had 80. I th- I remember it having about 80 grams of sugar. And I was Jesus like, oh Christ. my God. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of goddamn sugar. And you're not supposed to have it. You're supposed to have about 30. That's it. No. I mean, it was. I wouldn't do it again. I wouldn't. Nah. Would you? Because I'm, I'm, I'm honestly having second thoughts. I was going to go with uh, I'll never do it again. But I think I will. Yeah. I got to split it. I'm not going to have a whole thing. I do want to see it in the day. Those colors, the the lighting in there was a little dim. Uh, so I would see it on like a Saturday afternoon. That shit would be popping. Yeah. The colors were great on it. Yeah, I liked it. To be honest, if you just gave that to a guy on acid, he would just hang on to that for like eight hours straight. That would be his best friend. He would, would start just be talking like a furry it. caterpillar for him. He'd just, yeah. like, it'd just be Alice in Wonderland He'd for start him. giggling. Hey, Fred, you are weird. <laughs> just right. talking to the fucking burrito. <laughs> and you know what would be crazy? After those eight hours- the ice cream still wouldn't melt. It wouldn't melt. It wouldn't, it, it see, wouldn't melt. But that that's concerning to me. Because what's an ice cream that's not going to melt? Like, that's concerning to me. That or what's in the cotton candy that's keeping that bitch a thermos, you know? I know. Just, j- yeah. Just like dry <laughs> ice. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Uh, our cotton candy is actually made by Hydro Flask. I don't know if you know this. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this thing will be good by tomorrow morning, too. Yeah, it was alarmingly good. Is, is, are there any other things you've seen online that you would like, oh, okay, I would try that? Um, like a lot of fairs do shit like that, like yeah. deep fried Snickers, uh, deep fried butter. I've never yeah. had. We- Have you ever had that stuff? I've had deep fried butter. Blech. Well, here's the thing. My dad's from Ohio, Blech. so yeah, dude, deep fried butter. Uh, I did it just for like, just to. It's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, it's terrible. It's it has to be terrible, right? Like oh, it, yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not good. Is it literally like a stick of butter that you just deep fry? Seriously, literally a stick of butter. Who in the fuck? What type of fat piece of shit I'll tell you, invented that? Anybody from Ohio. <laughs> Bro, there was a line there. You would think that it, that guy would have his booth and he'd be empty all day, just like, just sitting there, just counting how many kernels are on a piece of corn. This dude had a line. There was kids running out with sticks that deep fried butter. Dude, how do you invent that? Or were you just in, in like 78 years ago, <laughs> was the dude just like sitting making fried chicken with a, like a vat of oil and he's like, honey, I'll be there in a goddamn second. And the elbow like hits the stick of butter just into butter. it. He goes, God damn it. And he takes it out and he just like, <laughs> and I he tried to spread it on his toast <laughs> and it was just fire. <laughs> I think honestly, dude, you just get curious. If you have a deep fryer, I think you just get curious. Yeah. Because you try one thing and that leads to another and then all of a sudden you're just like, I think somebody has tried to deep fry soda. I, 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 I'm like 98% sure. Like that's in thing. the can still. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Probably. Cause other than that, I don't see how to stay together. Yeah. He's like, you know what will be good next? You put my Levi's jeans in that goddamn fryer. <laughs> deep fried it. Levi's. Don't you want to eat them off me, honey? Mm. I thought our anniversary was next month, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 501 jeans. Dude, you can deep fry literally anything. Yeah, you can deep fry your eyelashes just if I can make a lunch of it. Bro, you can deep fry tapeworms. Mm. Then it defeats the purpose because the tapeworm is probably dead. Oh, it's oh, it's so dead. Unless it eats its way out of the deep fryness. Oh, dude, I still I know we talk about this, but I still can't get over the fact that people are eating worms as a diet, man. You yeah, should, that's it, just, uh, it, bugs me. it really uh, it bugs me. I'd rather also get liposuction. Get rich, get liposuction. Would you Would you do any of that liposuction? I know people that did it. I mean, I I know people that did it, and like the, the, how they look then versus now is insane. I don't know anything about the process and like what they have to go through. Would you get plastic surgery? I, the only thing I'll do is I touch up the nose a little bit. <laughs> I, I got I got a fucking 
I got Mount Everest that's kind of just riding in the middle of the nose right here. I got a little, I got a little hunch right there. Like Yo, straight on, straight on camera, straight on, <laughs> chilling, dude. You get the camera on the side angle, and I'm like, yeah, scooty, yeah, but center up a little bit, you know? Like I'd be catfishing people straight off my pictures. <laughs> like, you know how girls take selfies high up? So yeah. They don't, so their their chin makes them look thinner. Yeah. I'd be doing that shit with my nose. I know that from the side, it looks like my I just took like Viagra in the middle of my nose. There's like a little ridge right there. So if I did any surgery, it would be uh, touch up the nose. But now I feel like I'm chilling. Yeah, yeah. Your nose looks like an income uh, graph. You know, yeah, like shit dude. Just uh, like this. One time, somebody in middle school. This is the harshest insult I ever got. Oh, somebody in middle no. school said it looked like my nose had an Adam's apple. <laughs> and I, I haven't come back from that one yet. I really like that one. Hurt, dude. When you're a kid, kids have because they're just like. I mean, obviously we all know this, but they're just fucking mean and they have no inhibitions and no. they just say whatever comes to their face. Uh -huh. And it's fucking just mean, dude. Oh, dude, that's stuck with me for like 14 years. Because it's the truth. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's pretty clever. It's Yeah, it is. It is very creative. Oh, yeah. You took two different body parts and then hit me with that. What am I, Mr. Fucking Potato Head? You're just rearranging Jesus my body parts to roast me? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Dude. that so was they, they gave themselves a layup in the alley open the slam dunk. Oof. They're like, yo, your nose? And I'm like, what? Boom. Adam's apple. Slam dunk. Crowd goes wild. <laughs> backboard shatters. I don't know if I'd ever get plastic surgery. Would you ever do anything? I don't. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty perfect. But uh, <laughs> I uh, dude, when I was a kid, I used to think about getting a height surgery. I've said this on the, on here before. I, how, I, how tall, how much would you I would add? be 6'1". 6'1"? 6'1". I don't want to be anything more than that. 6'1 is like perfect. But I think I'm out of it. I don't really give a fuck anymore. Yeah. I don't really care. Um, I think I would get like, uh, I think I would get a little bit of pressure. Like, like you know, some years, touch whatever. It yeah, touch it up. Little, some fucking Botox here or there, whatever. Yeah. Just on the face, just kill some lines. But other than that, I think I'm, I think I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, uh, keep I would get some these, tits. I would get some, some tits. tits. Yeah, yeah, I would get some big ass tits. I always thought about it, man. You know, get some nice titties on. Yeah, you. fill them with pudding. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, get some nice tits. Start demanding shit. You know. I always <laughs> just think. I think here's why I'd get tits. So I could say for one time, one time only, eyes are up here, and then I'd just go back and get them chopped <laughs> off again. And be like, I got to say it. That's all I wanted to say is eyes are up here. How much would it cost you to chop off your dick? Whoa. What is that? How we're wrapping up this episode? Yeah, that's that's yeah. How much would it cost? I think the audience wants to Bro, know. Bro, I. How do I? You want to hear my answer? Yeah, zero dollars. Yeah, wait, wait, because you're not doing it. I'm not doing it. Right for any amount of money. Well, that's what I'm saying. Five trillion dollars. I'm not coming to go for nothing. Right, dude. I'd rather work straight Uber shifts for the rest of my life I'd for eighteen hours a day course. and chop off my dick. Yeah, dude. I can't just no, no, no. We're, well, I'm good. The sad part is, is somebody out there would be like, I don't know, maybe like thirty five, forty grand. <laughs> like, yo, what, dude? You could buy like a brand new Ford for that. You didn't want to shoot up higher. <laughs> that's wild. Well, that's a great, uh, great way to end. I, yeah, I, I yeah, think yeah, um, yeah. the the I almost said bacon wrapped. The bacon wrap burrito ice cream thing. There was no bacon. There's I'm no surprised bacon. there was no bacon option. They should throw bacon in there. Bacon, Ooh, that would be phenomenal. Bacon and ice cream, like, they be fucking and nobody says anything. <laughs> like, you see bacon and ice cream and nobody bats an eye. They're like, yeah, it's bacon maple ice cream, dog. What? Like, you got a problem with that? You're like, no, I never said they couldn't procreate, but it's just kind of weird <laughs> putting those two together. You know, it's like, it's like no, a those, pig those, to an udder. It's weird. Those bacon maple donuts. Oh, whoa. Smacking, dude. Bacon, like low key, bacon knows it's a bad bitch because you can put it on literally anything, and bacon's like, yeah, I'm here, so what? No, you put bacon on a Samsung phone, and I'm <laughs> <laughs> real quick before we get out of here. This is some exclusive. I just did something for McDonald's. Uh, I don't know if I can even say this. Probably, I don't. Probably it not. doesn't matter. Uh, it does not because uh, if McDonald's is listening, then I made it. Anyways, uh, before we get out of here, McDonald's is gonna start putting bacon on the Big Mac. What? Yo, it's already Al, bro. Is it really? Yeah. Fuck. Never mind. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were dropping some exclusive. Dude, I, I've, I, dude, I haven't been to McDonald's in so long, so when they told me that, I was like, no shit. Yo, and they're also having bacon cheese fries. Yo, do you know exclusive? about that? Can I say exclusive? Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but uh, T-Mobile came up with the sidekick. Also, Jack in the Box. Exclusive. Yeah. has two tacos for a dollar. I can't say that much, well, but two for a dollar. Yo, exclusive. I thought I was being all exclusive. exclusive. I, thought, I thought I was like getting the name drop. Exclusive. If you want your shoes tighter. Tie the laces tighter. Is that shit out yet? That's just out yet? It's out. It's out All right. Baby. Speaking of out, so is this <laughs> podcast. So thank you for listening to the whole thing. Thank you, guys. Send us a message on Instagram, your thoughts, what we should do next. Or hit us up on Gmail if you're uh, 
a sophisticated bitch like that and you drink black coffee if you drink black coffee email us don't dm us email us yeah. at stiff socks pod at gmail uh other than that dude go try yourself an ice cream burrito also go on itunes subscribe rate, rate. and review please right right right, right, right. you guys are great we love you uh peace Late.